Shalom, giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's gone all around the earth. Shalom to the hope of the elect. This is your brother Atazawan by Alpha. I'm going to bring a really quick, short lesson uh, while I'm here. I got a little, little break. Um, saw this article here from the New York Times. Okay. And it reads, same-sex marriage rights bill clears a crucial Senate hurdle. Okay, and we'll read this article and get a few scriptures then because this place is it's got to go. All right, um, there's no doubt about it. It's ripe for the picking, if you will. Okay, um, the wickedness has exceeded more than likely any expectation that anybody has for this place. Okay, and uh, these liberals are totally uh, out of hand. All right, and um, they are basically, you know, I mean, really putting the cap on um, this place really being Babylon the Great, of course, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, of course. Um, but you can see them here in their political arena, all right, trying to set legislation that will not be able to be overturned in the future. All right, so let's read a little, a little bit of this article, then we'll get a few scriptures. Um, so it says here from the New York Times, same-sex marriage rights bill clears a, a crucial Senate hurdle. Democrats made the same-sex bill one of their first major agenda items in the post-election session, which we just had, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? All right, midterm elections, if you will, moving quickly to enact it while their party still controls both chambers. And here you see these, a picture of these wicked Edomites, all right, wanting to do their thing. But that includes all of them from all, all the races, not races, but nations, Salakia, all the other nations as well that want this lifestyle, right, and want to be protected federally, all right? That's what this is about. So it reads here, it says, uh, Washington, uh, the Senate on Wednesday took a crucial step toward passing landmark legislation provide federal protection for same-sex marriage as 12 Republicans joined Democrats to advance the Respect for Marriage Act, you know, um, and incidentally, you know, understanding the difference between a law and an act, all right? <clears throat> an act is something that really could be revoked. But anyway, going on, putting it on track to become law in the twilight of the Democrat Democratic held um, Congress. See, and, and, and right there is, is what I meant. I didn't even read that paragraph at first. As it says, putting it on track to become law. So there's a difference between anything that's, that ends with act and what is actually a law. Okay? Those are two different things. Okay? So anyway, going on, it reads, um, the 62 to 37 vote, which came only days after the midterm election in which Democrats retained control of the Senate but lost the House of but lost the House to Republicans was a rare and notable last gasp for bipartisanship by a lame duck Congress as lawmakers look toward an era of political gridlock. Okay. And lame duck just really goes into the fact that these people have nothing to lose because this is their last go round anyway. That's really what a lame duck is, okay? So anyway, uh, it also signaled a remarkable shift in American politics and culture, demonstrating how same-sex marriage, once a divisive issue, has been so widely accepted that a law to protect the rights of same-sex couples across the country could gain decisive bipartisan majorities in both the Senate and the House. Get this article to load all the way up. Um, it says, last summer, 47 House representatives joined Democrats to pass a version of the bill. Senate, Senator Chuck Schumer, the majority leader, said that passage of the legislation now expected after Thanksgiving 
will be, quote, one of the true highlights of the year for this body, end quote, and one of the more significant accomplishments of the Senate to date. You know, so they're, they're happy to sign off on wickedness here in Babylon the Great. Speaking on the Senate floor, Mr. Schumer noted that his daughter and what? Her wife were expecting a baby, which is utterly impossible. But anyway, in the spring, and that he wanted, quote, them and everyone in a loving relationship to live without the fear that their rights could one day be stripped away, end quote. Okay, so they sided with wickedness, and that's to be expected. Okay, so I don't know if his daughter's wife was actually a man who is changed to a woman or whether they're adopting or what it doesn't say and it doesn't really need to because whatever it is we know it's wicked going on the measure still still must win passage in the senate and then return to the house which must clear it and send it to president biden for his signature but the legislation has overcome the biggest obstacle to its enactment. The 64, uh, the 60 vote threshold in the 50-50 Senate. So more than likely, because they want this badly, it will become a law, all right? Going on, it says, even as the test vote reflected by partisan support for the measure the vast majority of Republicans including Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky and minority leader voted against it 37 Senate Re Republicans voted no illustrating that while polling has found that more than 70 percent of Americans including the majority of Republicans support same-sex marriage the issue remains po politically untouchable for many GOP lawmakers I would imagine that they'll be able to win the vote on it, all right, because this place has got to be at ultimate wickedness, right? It's got to reach that point. So anyway, let's get a few scriptures, okay? This is not going to be long. We're just going to get right down into it. This is a wicked-ass place, and the Lord is going to destroy it, and those that enjoy that lifestyle with fire, all right? This is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our, our Lord was crucified. And that's this place over here. Okay. Of course, the bodies are referring to us Israelites who were in a dead state. And this matches up with Ezekiel 37. Okay. You can go over there and read that. I have to make this a little quick here. So this is Leviticus 20 and 13. It reads, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay, and we're thinking about, though they may be talking about uh, the lawmakers and bipartisanship and these people in, in, in those photographs, okay, there's many, many two-thirds who... Uh, live that lifestyle, okay? All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, so-called Haitians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Indians, all right, you Israelites, and this book belongs to you. And in this book, the Heavenly Father has laws to which we're supposed to live our lives and govern our lives. Okay, and you just can't be out there willy-nilly just doing whatever you want. Okay, no matter if this place says that you can do it or not. All right. So let's go to uh, Matthew right here, 24 and 37. We'll just read it right here. No, matter of fact, let's just go to it. 37. Okay, and uh, let's just jump in right here. 24 and 34, it says, Verily I say unto you, this is Jehovah Shai speaking, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. 
But of that day and hour, no man know, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of no, and that is, he's talking about his return. But as the days of no were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, right? Eating and drinking and giving in marriage, all right? And they're talking about same-sex marriages here in Babylon the Great, passing laws that will protect the wickedness, okay? Going on until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, okay? So that is a recollection and a story of destruction for the wicked, all right? This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 21, and it reads, But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and Saturns shall dance there. Okay? And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their des desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged, okay? The wickedness and the downfall of Babylon the Great, okay? Not ancient Babylon. And we can also find this, a reference to it here in Revelation. It's like in Revelation uh, 18, and we'll just, <clears throat> we'll just jump in right here, verse 2. And it reads, and he cried mightily, the angel did, with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth were waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her my people that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues and those plagues would be those missiles and to come out of her is the elect being taken up into the chariot okay for the destruction that's going to come here all right on Babylon all right where these wild creatures will live on this side once this place is utterly burned with fire okay for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And that whole idea of same-sex marriage is a wicked work. All right? It's a wicked work. See? Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works and the cup which she hath filled unto her, double. Okay, and we can stop right there. You see, Babylon is going to be utterly destroyed and burned with fire. And we get one last scripture and we'll be done. We'll close it out. This is uh, Revelation 17 and 14 and it reads, these shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them for he is Lord of lords and kings of kings and they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful, right? The elect which was called up out before the destruction, okay? And we'll come back and fight with the Lord, the armies of the Lord, okay? Verse 15, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And that's what you have here in Babylon the Great. All different nations and peoples and tongues are over here in Babylon the Great. And the ten horns which thou saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and what? Burn her with fire, right? So the United Nations, you know, the EU, those nations, who are affiliated will turn against this place to burn it up, all right, with nuclear 
fire, okay, from ICBM missiles and warheads that are attached to those missiles, Salaki. Verse 17, for the Most High put in their hearts to fill, fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast un until the words of the Most High shall be filled. And the woman which thou saw is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, this wicked place. Okay, Babylon the Great will be utterly destroyed for all of its wickedness. Okay, and like as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay, who will wipe out wickedness upon the earth, okay, and rescue his elect. And I'll end the lesson right there, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akashabash, and double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, Shalom, to the hope of the elect. I'll see you all again real soon with another lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.